Instead of looking to the defenses of Chang'an, Dong Zhou returns the Imperial Han to the offensive. Now that he's Duke Dong of the Duchy of Zhou, he plans on making a kingdom one day. On the snowy plains, a difficult battle is fought. Lu Bu, Zhang Liao, and Xu Rong hunt down Black Mountain bandits. Their crossbows and trebuchet are not enough. Later, Lu Bu's men are ambushed. Little do they know, it just made it easier for Lu Bu to find them and kill them all. Today, more battles are fought and lives are lost. Our aged, ancient Dong Zhou has prepared a grand foundation for a future kingdom. Lu Bu, his adoptive son and defender of the court, will see his plans through. We have a new turn and two missions completed, giving me more money. Not bad. Let's go look over here. We're finding out more about Dong from Zhang Mi. He's trying to find out more about the lands of Liu Bei. Sat Sao is more of my concern right now. The guy really wants to fight me. We've gained a new ancillary. Not bad. I do have a third army, but I wonder what I'm going to do with it. Lady Liu. Oh, you're alive. Hey. Right down there by Nanyang. Right now, I would like for Dong Zhuo to go after Zhang Yan. If we could take out the bandit, that would be ideal. Or we could ignore him. Sat Sao, if you want to fight me, then I will fight you. He would like a peace treaty. We pushed him away for right now. Do I need to take another location to unite the local area of Shandong? Ah, I need to take over your land. Okay, well, I can't declare war on you while I'm here, or you'll hate me. Let's move down a bit. And Lubu, why don't you go after that army? from Yuan Tan's faction. He's moving away. What a good idea. Okay, we'll wait right over here by our copper mine. And while we do that, let's build up a bit of military infrastructure. I would like to make sure that we can hold this area. It'll be right by enemy lands. I raised up my taxes to very high for one turn. I'll bring it down to normal. There we are. People did not like that at all, but I was able to make a big chunk of money that I needed. All right, over here for my other army, my I'm going to change up your Saber Militia into Sword Cav. Now you're much better, and I'll give you a group of G Militia. We need to get better infantry units. After that, I think I want you to move away. Soon Jian will eventually come after us. We do have enemies down here. Let's get a move on then. He'll be here in a few turns. Okay, while they're traveling, Lu Bu, I know that you're about to be ready. Shandong, you will be mine. And I'm about ready to end my turn, but before I do so, let's get our peace treaty. It's only because Cao Cao is a dire threat to me that I've got to take care of. A successful bid. There we go. A non-aggression pact. No one really cares for me anymore. Sun Jian, you're a vassal? Dear God, why? Oh, it's you. Okay, maybe I could force you to change your mind. You should become free. What are you doing, man? Okay, you want what? The farmland of Ba. And you want a lot of my ancillaries. No, you can't have that. That's a shame. We might have to fight Sun Jian. I didn't want to, but... Who do you belong to, anyway? Let's see here. Better not be Sao Tso. Sao Tso? You own way too much. He's got four vassals total. You've become the new Yuan Shao. No wonder he wants to bring me down. That's a shame. Okay. Let's end our turn again. I'm gonna save up my money. Sometimes when I know a war is coming, I don't want to spend all of my money right away. Oh, hello. Two armies coming to fight Lu Bu. Let's go check out the map real quick. A field battle. We're looking at quite a few military officers. All rank 4. And army number 2, rank 3. 4. And 2. Oh boy. They're in trouble. Let's go. A fairly large battle is beginning right now. Our enemies are charging our lines, and it looks like we might have a chance to lose today. They outnumber me. 
by a pretty large margin. Even though I do have powerful people on my side, we need to try very hard to win. Let's go over my formation real quick. Spearmen on the front lines. I've got many soldiers over in the trees. I'm using my leaders right now to try to diminish any horsemen they have. Here they come. Those are not two notable characters, but rather minor characters. And over here, we have many swordsmen now moving in. It'll take them a long time to reach us. My own horsemen from that reinforcing group are charging in from behind. Their goal is to go after all of these archers. I mean, look at how many they have right now. It's incredible. 44 shy of 7,000 men in one battle. Even though we're strong individually when it comes to our warriors, man, let me tell you, having that many presents a challenge. Especially when they get to bog you down. Let's go back over here. There are many enemy officers over here. The goal is to try to, again, keep them busy and to keep them from being able to hit us too hard. Over here on the left flank, the horsemen are still charging in, going after a few of their archers who are still around. Though, as you can see over here, they get rid of most of their arrows by shooting them at me. To keep on looking, they have a lot of units here, like Warriors of the E, right? Yeah, they've got G Militia. And all I'm doing right now is trying to hold the line. So far, we're able to do that. It looks like our officers are also able to beat them. That's only phase one, though. There goes one right now. Shuho. He's going. Over here, we have... Who are you? Gong Anshu. And finally, we'll see. He's currently fighting in the midst of our units, but those two out of the three are going down. Zhong Liao is trying very hard to fight. Here comes more units now. And Lu Bu is still out there just trying to wander around, trying to disrupt any enemies we can. I brought in more units over here on the left flank. You can see swordsmen. We can see that I've got some G militia. They have more archers on the way. And way back here, we have horsemen. These horsemen are trying to go after many of their archers. It can be difficult to really cover every portion of the battle just because of how much is going on. They're firing many volleys off, destroying my poor horsemen who are fleeing. I mean, they're part of my re my reinforcing group, so I'm not too concerned about them. But here comes my swordsmen now. They're probably tired, right? No, they're actually eager and moving. Lubu is still fighting out on his own. He's killed a great deal. He's chasing off a few archers who are currently broken. I've lost a lot of men, and over here, Zhang Diao is taking out another enemy leader. He's fairly weak now. You just saw Zhang Diao do a shout. That ability reduces enemy morale by 18. It's very good at making your foes flee. My goal was to try to make all these units over here flee. We're hitting them on multiple sides. They still do have a way to get out, but that's what we're doing right now. Okay, let's zoom out again and see what's happening. My units are still together and still holding. Lu Bu is going after another enemy leader. We have another one advancing. Nijian. He's very tired, though. That's good. Here's another enemy leader. Zhu Jin. My swordsmen will try to encounter them and stop whatever's coming to my front line. So if we're on the left flank, on that portion of the map where we initially displayed our army. They'll lose a few, but they'll be able to kill many of these guys or at least distract them. Here comes more worries to you. you will need it. All the while, my you poor horsemen are having a very hard time getting over here to actually charge at a bunch of archers. I don't know why that group came back, but they did. And over here, Xu Rong is fighting in a duel. Though he's very strong, our enemy was able to dismount him. The battle's beginning, though. Hopefully Xu Rong is able to take him down a notch. Already he's done a good deal of damage. Okay, on the left flank we have more warriors of Yi moving in. My horsemen are having a hard time trying to move around. Jing Diao is also moving around. He's shaken though. He's been quite wounded for a long time. He's only at 5.5k health. You seem to be struggling. You can see over here that these warriors of Yi are not breaking. They refuse to go. If only wars were one with witty words. If only they were. 
Let's go watch this battle play out. It's fully over now. That was a good hit. And he won. If we go look over here, these swordsmen are fighting in the woods. Many of my enemies are all piled up together. They have a lot of archers right behind them. Blue Boo is coming after that other enemy commander. Hopefully we can break him and finish all of them off. I knew that the battle would be difficult, but what has been going on has been beyond me. Here they come again. Blue Boo charges in for more damage. We're actually fighting two battles on one battlefield. Jing Liao used his ability again to diminish their leadership, their morale. Now they're finally beginning to shake, and in time they will flee. On my left flank, unfortunately my enemies were able to catch up to my horsemen, so not very many of them are able to get away. They would just chase them and chase them. Jing Yu is still here, he's still very much alive. Xu Rong will be going after him. And now I get to help out all of my swordsmen from that garrison, from that reinforcing the army. My horsemen are still just kind of moving around oh, the map. Their goal witty. is to eventually go oh, after all these archers. Witty. It doesn't really matter Look, the if they're out of ammo. The goal is to kill them so that in a future battle, they're not able to be used again. Lu Bu is still fighting. As you can see here, we've got some better armored soldiers. Though not all of them share that. Pardon me? Lubu? Did you kill him that Okay, no, you did kill him that quickly. That was another one. Shudong took out an enemy leader. There's a few groups still coming at us right now. We're going to go pile on them. Shudong is still moving on the left flank. We'll be going after a few fleet units eventually. Being able to quickly move up around the battlefield is really a challenge. I'm just letting you know that. There's a lot going on at any given time. Many pieces, all cogs of a machine. So right now, my swordsmen are gearing up to charge behind these enemies. If you have them gearing up, they're getting hyped up for it. When they charge in, we should be able to deal a decent amount of damage. And Lu Bu is still going after their enemy commander, and also many of their soldiers too. Despite where they were at, it looks like we're actually doing okay. We're actually able to fight and put them off. Though, many of my soldiers have already died. I need to hold on my space bar and you can see what's happening in the battle. More of them are beginning to run. We had horsemen come in from behind. Their goal is to chase after all of them. But it largely looks like we've won the battle. Or at least it's beginning to shift into our favor. See, if I didn't forget about these two groups of swordsmen, that would have been a great way to hit these guys from behind. But, at the very least, I'm saving some lives for future battles. Lubu is still going after that enemy commander. He hasn't taken him out yet. Lubu is already at how many kills? Over 700 kills right now. There we go. There's all of my swordsmen now finally charging in. Better late than never. They're hitting archers. They're hitting just whatever they have right now. Warriors of Yi. They have a lot of Warriors of Yi. Let's go look at the battlefield again. So we did it. We won the battle. There's very few left, and I've been trying to spend more time chasing down enemies after a battle. That way, again, there's just fewer afterwards. We had over 6,000. I don't think we had like a completely full army, though. My army wasn't all here initially. If they were, then maybe we would have had a much easier time. Right now, Lubu's going after the enemy leader. We've got to go kill him. He's got to go. He's fleeing currently. That's going to be terrifying to fight Lubu. I personally wouldn't want to do it. One day he'll be King Lubu. Oh lord. He's like, hey, I'm going to play with my food a little bit. My kill food. And it's over. Ouch. Okay. It is time to move on now. We've won the battle. That was a very challenging battle, and that goes to show you, a proper army can really defeat the army of Lubu. Essentially, I'm not saying it's a done deal, but they killed a lot of my men. If I didn't have the reinforcing army, that would have gone poorly. Hello, Gong Shu. Who shall I kill today? All of you? You know what? I believe I will. It might be time. 
Yeah, later. None of you need to be alive. You gave me a challenge, but it doesn't mean you get to do it again. They lost over 5,000 men in that battle. Jing Jiang has not declared war on me. Another war. Okay. Things are getting a little bit more intense now. Satsao, I bet you want to fight me. Satsao has a lot of vassals underneath him, meaning that he has a lot of power. Look at who's fighting me now. Okay. Who gained a rank? Lufan did. Many new characters are in my court, but no one that I want to hire. I mean, I'll go look at them. I do need, oh, hello, a Warblade plus 15 uh, expertise. That's really high. Zhu Rong and Lubu are no longer getting along. Hey, we did lose a lot, but come on. We did very well. Oh, well, they don't care that much. All right, Jing Jiang, time for me to come over here to you. Lubu, I know you've got to heal up. You try to ambush Jing Jiang. I wonder, could you march into that town, the Copper Mine? You can't, okay. Well, I'm going to bring you back over here to Luoyang. Come right over here. Or just wait there, that's fine too. Dong Zhuo, we'll move over here to the Copper Mine of location. There we are. It's a very difficult campaign now that I'm trying to actually move out. It's one thing to defend, but to expand. Oh boy. Okay, Lufan, what do you need? You do not have flaming arrows yet, which bothers me a lot. We need those, man. We gotta have them. Take precision. There we are. I'm not gonna give you that blade. You don't need it, do you? No, not really. There we are. Okay, what do you have over here? Crossbowmen. I would like for you to have better units than crossbowmen, but we'll wait to get that up. There is cunning. Li Ru. I need you to actually move over here. Oh, hold on. If you go by the water, though, you won't be able to replenish. Well, we might as well have you go to Luoyang. You can replenish and then move up the river. Yeah, do that. Okay. An Ding, I know that you're not doing too well when it comes to your own public order. Let's go sort by public order again. Chang'an, you need a small regional city. I lose a bit more food, but you become happier. And let me go look at where I can get more food, because we do need more food. Here we go. I'll take that. Plus one to my food. We have plus one already, so it's another plus one, plus two total. Now what am I going to do? Jin Ching. What do you need in Jin Ching? We have low fertility over there. We make most of our money from what? Commerce and silk too. Okay. Well then get a private workshop. It's cheap. It'll let you make a lot more. And I think we're about done right now. There's not too much that I can do. Who would like a peace treaty? Yuan Tan would like a peace treaty. I beat the hell out of him. That's understandable. Who are you fighting anyway? Han Empire, Yuan Yao. You're fighting the bandit as well. Okay. Not you oh, you really want Beast Treaty. Interesting. Okay. I would like to vassalize you again. That would be funny. If you draw me into another war, I will always vote. Yeah, I didn't mean to lose him. Okay. I wonder. Could I get the Peace Treaty then try? I suppose I could. Let me go back over here real quick. I don't really want to... I mean, I could give them autonomy. And to make it work, they want what? For 10 turns. 1,600 for 10 turns. But they would still belong to me. You know what? I'll do it. Let's do it. If he breaks it, I wonder if I still need to pay him. I hope I don't. There we go. To a new beginning. I beat the hell out of you. But now you should be okay with me. Okay, Jing Jiang. You'll be dying, hopefully soon. Soon Jian unfortunately belongs to Satsu. I can't believe that happened. That's a weird one. Okay, you're back under my thumb. I know all about his lands again. I didn't mean to lose him to begin with, but it didn't tell me that I would lose him if I didn't vote for the war. I know that if you don't support their war when they individually call you, but it wasn't made clear to me that it was whenever it happened in a coalition vote. I thought that was like a separate matter. Now I know. There should be a prompt for that, for sure. But now you know, too. 
you don't want to lose your vassal, vote for their war. <laughs> or don't let them join your coalition. I mean, I don't believe he was a member before then. Okay, let's come over here. We're beginning to replenish quickly. Very good. Two turns and we'll be ready. Rank five for Libru. Oh, did I not give you your shot? My bad. There we go. Fly. Thought I did, but I did not. I was too wrapped up thinking about my future plans. Because right now, I have to be very careful with what is going on. Go over here to patch up. We will come up north to go fight. I mean, do I want to? I suppose I do. They have to besiege it anyway. All right, I'm going to ambush right over here. I hope I can. There we go. Now if they move down, we can hit one of them. Even getting rid of one will help out a lot. Okay, back to Wudu. Wudu makes me a lot of money. We need some Wudu in our life every day. I make a lot from my industry. I remember one of these over here. Yeah, 10% more income from industry. I'll take that. Wudu is right over to the west. And over here in Anding, that's where we make all of our food. Grain storage. Let me go look at my building browser to find out if I want to go down that route. Okay, grain storage. No, you won't really help me out that much. What else can I get it then? I've got a few already that I could upgrade, that I could work on. Military forges, I think not. I could get a county school for a lot of experience. I mean, in the long term, that would be highly beneficial. More income from commerce. I do make some from industry, so an industry building wouldn't be bad either. That's for commerce, largely. Labor would bring me where? From industry. Ooh, wow. These are really good. 100k population growth. My god. The industry one is fantastic, but I don't like the population growth. It's really too high for me. Okay. Again, it's all about industry and peasantry. But we're running low on buildings where I can actually support things here. I'll build a, a freaking temple. You know what? They can be religious and farmers, too. And over here, let's get my private workshops up to a craftsman shacks. And I think we're done. Yeah, I think we're done. There's not too much more. I'll check on diplomacy briefly. Okay, no one wants a peace treaty. I can't really call too many people. Gong Sun Zan, you're really the only one that I like. You're the only decent person here. Who's been a good buddy to me. Even though it would be a little bit more logical if it was Gong Sun Du who likes him more. Well met, friend. Let's have a look here. If only we could invite you. No, I don't want to fight you. I could pay you for that. I think you'll like me more for it, but we can make it work. Okay, here we go. I don't think my plans will all work out. Perhaps. Oh, okay. I'll pay you. Yeah, come help me out. Cao Ying is a pain. You want to his land? If I could form a new coalition, I might try to do that later. Who are we fighting? A big army. Okay, let's go kill them. Dong Zhuo and Sun Su are currently fighting together. They're charging right in. The enemy is about to be ambushed. Currently, Sun Su is fighting a duel. Sai Yang, oh yeah. That guy was sent by Sad Sao to go take Runan. He was killed. He was trying to take it from Liu Bei. It didn't work out. My god, Sun Tzu, we've already beaten him. That didn't take long at all. After that, we'll go over the enemy formation and my own formation. But he's won. So over here, I've got a lot of ranged units. I thought I could have them all in one location. Here's all my crossbowmen. I've got my swordsmen in the front. I've got more swordsmen. And over here, more G militia on my flanks. My trebuchet is helping out too. I quickly began to shoot everyone. Through all of my ranged attacks, my enemies are falling apart. And way beyond where I'm at now, I have my horsemen who are waiting to attack further. But they have got to go one way. Because of that, they're done. All these crossbows can use massive volleys to destroy them. And right now, Dong Zhuo is taking out another enemy. It's a large, nimble man. Over 60 years old, about what? Over 65. We'll be fighting for a little bit. Go, go! 
You can see over here that more enemies are moving through the woods as they flee. My own horsemen are currently trying to hit a few of their archers before they get to me. Raider Cav is actually fantastic. So I have found out that you want to use some of those lighter horsemen when you can. They're even better at taking out a bunch of archers because they're so quick. Then, in my view, you should probably use a bunch of heavy calves to take on enemy infantry whenever you're flanking them from behind. What a scene. More of my enemies are pressing in, but those volleys are going to eradicate so many of them. That is generally my goal at any given time. It's to use volleys for my crossbows to just break them all down. As you can see now, they're falling quickly. Another volley's about to do them in. No armor at all. That's one way to die. There they go now. My own units are counter charging. Sun Tzu is still fighting. And Dong Zhuo won his duel. That's a large man. Put his enemy down into the ground. That's a fallen blade. So most of my enemies are now dead. My horsemen back here are still moving around. They have all the mobility that they need. There's still a few archers left, so our goal is to hit them and elude any G militia, any G units they have. It's another big charge. This fellow's did a fantastic job. And here comes another charge after that. Those archers are done for. If we come back over here, they were able to take down the final enemy leader. So the battle is now pretty much over. They did get a counter charge off on a few of my swordsmen, killing many of them. It's always very effective. So now, what I'm doing, I'm moving out my crosswomen. My crosswomen are in guard mode. And their goal is to shoot anyone who comes down at me. We still have some enemies down here, but the battle is largely over. In an ambush where you have so many ranged and infantry units, you can only win. They had how many men? Let's go have a look down here on the lower right hand corner. Nearly 4,000. Nearly 4,000 men killed in one fight. These two are now chasing after a few who are fleeing. I don't know who's left. Ah, here's one. I found a group or two. They're over here. Maybe they didn't hear that their leaders are dead. That's probably what it is. I don't know, all the bodies might be a like, pretty good hit. Get out of here, kids. You can do it, I believe you. Keep it up, that's right! All right, so what we're gonna do now it's going to move a little bit faster. I was hoping they would come for me. But it looks like they were content to just wander around. Look, the enemy but now, they just frozen. broke. The battle's over. We took them all out. Sayang, I believe I'm going to kill you. I know that you want to join me, but I don't really know too much about you. Goodbye. Oh, you have a kindred Jian. Well, then you've got to die. You gotta. We didn't lose very many in that battle. Not every ambush goes as well, but that map was perfect. We had a lot of crossbows, and they were unable to stop my leaders at all. Sun Tse, or Sun Tzu, was able to beat their leader in a very short amount of time. Wait, what? <gasps> no way. The old man died. You're kidding me. He finally passed on. Okay, well, his daughter is going to take up his place right now. Fire burns brightly and indiscriminately. But no flame can last forever. Starved of air, it chokes, it splutters, and is then extinguished. The tyrant is dead yet in the ashen darkness the avaricious prowl
I can't believe it. That's pretty wild. We captured an enemy who would like to join me. I wonder, did he die of old age? I believe he did. He was very, very old. Yeah, he did. Natural causes, man. 67. He died in the year 205. He did a great job, but now we get to be ruled by Lu Bu. Which is probably not a great thing. You can see how happy Lu Bu is. He's like, yep, I'm the king now. 7.7 .7 million people have their hands in the, or have their fate in the hands of Lu Bu. Oh God, there goes all of my intim my intimidation right now. I'm gonna have to get a lot more, which means I need to kill a lot of people. Let's go look over here at my court. I can have a new faction heir. Well, Sun Tzu, it's going to be you. It's gotta be you. Okay, plus five to faction support. Plus 100 charge bonus to all horsemen. Plus 15% melee damage for all shock horsemen. And plus five to satisfaction. We'll take it. Which means I need a new grand director. No, you need to die. Goodbye. Now I have more intimidation. How about that? Jing Jiang. Okay, maybe I won't kill you right now, but later. Later I will. I don't know if I really want to promote any of you. Lu Fan would be decent, or even Li Ru. Who would like that role more? Li Ru would. Okay, here you go. For a new administrator. Hmm. My daughter's okay with it. Ma Ching, what about you? You would love to have a new role. Jing Chao would like one as well. You're not too bad. You can lower building upkeep. Sure, take that. We'll put you over in Chang'an. Get rid of that building upkeep. There's no one I want to hire, as I did say before. And now what do I want to do? Well, I want to get more intimidation. We're very low right now. Fortunately, it's not empty, right? Not fully. I mean, he came to my court. He wanted to die. Xu Rong and Dong Zhuo. They were friends, and now he's dead. That feels really weird. We had him for a very long time. Okay, we now have a guard, a war axe, and over here, a Kindred Jian. The old man was able to kill someone in a duel. Then he died. I love it. Okay, Lu Bu? Duke Lu Bu? Where am I going to bring you? Who's over here? Let me have a look real quick. Ah! Tao Ying, yeah, he's over here. What occurred in my absence? If I could ambush any of you, that would be great, but I can't move into the land of Liu Dai, or they'll be angry with me. Lu Bu will wait here for a minute. Okay. Sun Tzu, you're the factioneer now. He's pretty happy about it. His wife is over here. She's only 23. And I'm going to give you a new weapon, too. You deserve it. Here's a war blade, plus 15 to expertise. You could use some new armor. Ranger's outfit, take that. A new mount, sure I have one for you. I would like for you to be able to deal more damage in combat. Take a red stallion. Okay, you're not my factioneer. What am I going to give you then? Plus 10 to satisfaction over here if I give my philosopher over to Sun Tzu or Lu Bu. We'll take a guard. There we are. You can have a guard today. Then again, that is a lot of expertise and instinct. I'll keep it. I'll change it up later if I need more money. All right, time to eliminate that army. You had the pleasure of fighting Dong Zhuo one more time. Now it's time for all of you to die. I was hoping he would live until he was like 75 or so. That would have been perfect. Intimidation. I'll take the money for once. Only because I need a little bit of money. Okay, that entire army is gone now. Jing Jiang is probably like, oh crap, what have I done? Okay, Li Ru, come over here to Lu Yang. Or the trade port of Lu Yang. I really feel like I should not have expanded so far. Not yet. 
the better idea would have been to go through the mountains and later come down here. Okay, how am I doing diplomatically? South Sal doesn't really care about me being here. Liu Biao, Liu Yan, they all like me. Wait, Liu Biao, how did you gain all of that land down there? Weird. I mean, that's fine and all. Let's go over to diplomacy. Jia Long would like a peace treaty. Tao Ying would like a peace treaty. You know what? I don't want to bother with you right now. You can go away. If only I could vassalize him. Okay, why don't you pay me? Why don't you pay me like 500 per turn? Oh, he'll do it. Let's try more than 800 per turn. Okay, too much. We'll go down to 700. We're getting closer. 650. All right. It's a lot of money. We accept. You're only a second marquee. It feels only suitable to have Lu Bu lead now. I mean, if we didn't have him, we would not have gotten here. That is very, very true. Okay, attitude. Satsao hates me a lot. He really does too. I mean, he's not a big fan. Satsao. I might give you Lu Yong. I haven't really decided yet. My time, no doubt. Yep, he does want it. He wants a lot of money, way too much money. If he didn't want all that money, then I would give it to him, but never mind. I have a feeling we'll eventually have a war. Which wouldn't be a big deal, but he does have Sun Jian. Make it quick. I wonder. What could I do with you right now? You don't want to be free. I mean. I nearly want to, only because if I help him fight, then we could fight Satsao together. Let's go over to my buildings, my commanderies again. Okay, Chang An, you're very unhappy. You're about to be fine, though. We're building up your capital area. Wu Du, make me more money and get more prestige. Chang Yang, let's upgrade you. Okay, okay, change per turn, right? My overall public order is having a few issues. Though, I wonder. Good, good, good. So, what you might not know about Dong Zhuo, he gave a penalty to public order. It made it very hard for him to actually, you know, have a happy people. Dong Min and Dong Zhuo were not great leaders when it came to pleasing the people. Okay, what do we have here? 50% chance of evading capture post-battle. 15% more trade influence. Okay. More damage for all shot, Cav. That's really good. Okay. He's really not too bad. He's only 50. We'll probably have him for like 15 more years or so. Hopefully more. Hopefully more. Okay. I do have a spy over in the land of Liu Bei. He's not doing a lot. I could hire any one of you. Nah. I'll wait. I'll wait for all of that. Here's a lumber yard that I would like to upgrade. I'll have a bigger garrison. Let's do it. Any money I have, I need to spend. Okay, on Ding. Time for you to get a Confucian temple. Shuofang. Communal workshops. I think we're about ready to move on, aren't we? Lu Bu's waiting. You know who is very close to me. Let's end our turn. We have a weird amount of alliances around here. Dong Sun Zan is really the only one that I want. She wants a peace treaty now. No. You're very weak now, and you have angered me. You've got to go. Lu Bu isn't married, is he? No, he's not. I never got him married. Hmm. I never found anyone suitable to marry him. No children. Maybe he doesn't need them. Okay, Wang Zhu is joining a war with Satsao. We've completed another mission. Brothers in arms. Okay. Lu Bu and Zheng Liao are now closer friends. Good, good. More abilities completed. Let me go look at my diplomacy as I always do. Jia Long wants a peace treaty. Nah. Wait, what's over here? Dominant threat. Right. 
that is what we are. No wonder people aren't a huge fan of us. Okay, Gong Sun Zan. You're still up here. You want Tan? You're fine. A war coordination target. I'm waiting for, you know, who Sao Tsao to fight me. Then we'll all go fight. Lubu can chill out for a little while. Okay. Sun Tzu, let's move. All right, you're alive still. I kind of want to go kill you. Bring me news. Well, Lubu, let's go kill him. Come on. Be ready to move. I was going to have you take a break, but I changed my mind. Let's Be march on through. I'm busy. Okay, you've got a little army over here. Very well. Okay, time for our good buddy over here, Lee Ru, to travel up the river. It feels like an era is now gone. I wonder if things will get better or much worse. Okay, we need a new reform. What am I going to pick up now? It really depends on what I can unlock right away. Ah, here we go. Medium Swordsman. I've been wanting that for a very long time. Now we can get new buildings too. Look at that. A Grand Treasury Mint. That'll lower corruption. Over here, let's see, 400 to industry, 250, 50k to population growth. Yeah, we have a lot of new buildings. Let's end our turn. If we could have a long period of peace for like five years, I would focus on my economy. I would just do that for a very long time. Oh, we can finally trade. Oh, no, broken. Okay, sorry, sorry. I was like, hey, did I get a new trade treaty? No. Liu Biao might betray me then. Very rude of him. I'll probably burn down the lands of Satsa if he declares war on me. What now? A peace treaty. Okay. Oh no, Satsa now is Tao Ying. A general in need. Yeah, I'll pay 500. I've got the money for it. Who would like to trade then? Satsa, would you like to trade? You seek to waste my time, no doubt. How much food? 24. You want nearly all of my food. You're an idiot. Okay, you want on. What about you? Floor is open. A bit of money. We'll get it back in a few turns. We'll take it. So it is agreed. All right. Let's keep on looking real quick around our treaties. Nope. Got to go kill the bandit queen. She's got to go, everyone. Now oh, I finally have another army over here. It took me a long time to get over here to this freaking right fishing now. court. We'll attack it in one more turn. Lu Bu's getting ready to attack too. Open to you can't reach him in one hit, can you? Okay, well, I'm gonna have you march a little bit closer. Who gained a new trait? Dong Li is now trusting. Okay. Let me go look over here. I mean, getting the Bandit Queen to join me would be even better. They could get married. Oh, right. You can get married, too. How about that? I'll have to carefully look at who she might want to marry. She's 57 right now. Let's go over to my family tree. I'm not going to make you my heir. I don't have the money to get her married. I have a lot more people in my court than I thought. You two have not had any children yet. I mean, if we need children to take up the throne, we know where to bring them, right? It's all good. Dong Min, you're currently 62 and not very happy. That's okay. You're not going to be my heir. Oh, they won't tell you how he died. That's a shame. Well, he died of natural causes. Details. Sun Tzu. Relations are over here. Let's see. You like that village chief? He died? Oh, I don't have a follower for you and you're my heir. Okay, well. Plus 10 to satisfaction for everyone. There we are death of a friend. I know, I know. Tragic. Very tragic. Alright. You're all about piety. I get it. I'm gonna give you that campaign movement range. It did belong to Dong Zhuo. Now it belongs to you. Obey the heart. Okay, it's time for a battle. Standard stance. I can't do a night battle. 
We're fighting a lot of them, sure. Dong Li. You're not really used to battling, but we're going to give you a go. I need a better combatant in the future. We could try to ambush one of them, I suppose. What does the map look like? Oh, okay. It's just a brutal onslaught of fighting. They do have three officers total. Let's go in. Dong Zhuo passed on. Now we have a new heir, Sun Tzu. Lu Bu is our duke, and in time, he'll become our king. Currently, Sun Tzu is charging out. Our enemies have many soldiers that are beginning to approach us. If you look at it, we're outnumbered again, as we often are. They have over 4,400 soldiers. Fortunately, it's not a full army, or things would be much more difficult. Here comes Yang Kuan. We have over here Zheng Zhao. Joitai. And, of course, many archers. Many swordsmen. And many of everything else, really. There's my trebuchet. Already trying to hit them. They're coming through the trees right now. It's not the best map for me, but... Those fires will hopefully diminish their will to fight. That's really my biggest hope right now, is to try to weaken them a bit. If you go look over here real quick... Well, if we can try to get over it. I'm having a hard time with that. There we go. Nearby fire. Minus 10 to morale, plus 5% to fatigue. And a bit of damage over, over time, evidently. Over 5 seconds. So it's a great way to weaken your foes. That's why you want to have a fire on their end and not your own. I'm learning more about how to do that. Yeah, if you have trees next to you, do not use flaming arrows. It's a really bad idea. So here they come now. We have many enemies that are approaching. I've got my swordsmen on the front lines. I've got my crossbows right behind. Same army as before, but we've got to try to deflect anything that we can. Dong Li is actually a very talented officer. I had no idea that she was until recently, but I believe she has like some of the highest expertise in the game right now. So the daughter Dong Zhuo is a very sturdy lady. Right now she's fighting. The wife of Sun Tzu. That's how I got him to even join us. It was a great, great thing I did. Here they all come now. We're all charging in. Whenever they come to me, I choose to charge in. I'll be using my crossbows to hit anything I can as they begin to approach me. The goal is to completely destroy anyone who's trying to really help out. With all my crossbows, we should be able to do that. Let's have a look right now. If you look at it, right now, my crossbows are going after one group at a time. If I focus fire, they'll be eradicated. Shields are no shields. The enemy unit flees. What cowards. Here they come now. They're still advancing. That's a really somber looking battlefield. I love it. Okay, we're going to zoom back out now to get a more strategic view. We can see that at various points I've been able to beat them back and even push them back. Sun Tzu is currently going after an enemy leader. Jutai. They have more of their units moving in, but now my horsemen are moving in from behind. Their goal is to go after these archers, as they often do. They're very good at it. Each battle is a little bit different than the last. My trebuchet is currently offering a few attacks. There could be some friendly fire, but so far they've been able to keep that pretty minimal. Now Dong Li is fighting in single combat. Dong Li, surprisingly, is doing a lot of damage to that guy. She's a pretty tough chick. Look at her go. Holy crap. What a battle. We'll watch the battle play out because we know what's happening in the battlefield right now. Look, it kind of feels like she's outclassing him. And it's a pretty close fight still. So right now, we're just pushing on, keeping all of my crossbows alive. My horsemen are still moving in. We have horsemen over here we are still going after enemy archers, completely thrashing them. Another enemy leader is now gone. Lufan is currently here, kind of narrating what's going on too. Thanks, buddy. I did need help. G Militia are out here on their own. They'll be kind of charging in just a minute. And I should either be out or nearly out of crossbow bolts. Let's go check out the battle for Dong Li. It's nearly over. Huh. 
And she did it. Even the wife of Sun Tzu is going to kick some people in the face. She's terrifying. Okay. What's left now are only broken enemies. We've won the battle. So now the goal that I have is to chase after those who remain. So what did I do here? What caused me to win? One, I have crossbows. If we look at their kills, 220, 288, 161. I have a decent army format. My trebuchet didn't get nearly as many kills as usual. I used the terrain to my advantage. I knew that fire would weaken them. So when they came by, my trebuchet set trees on fire. I was in the open fields, but that allowed a clear shot for all of my crossbows. And all the while, I used the trees over here on the right flank to cloak all of my horsemen who were moving in from behind. Then, when they came to me, I charged right in. I didn't wait. I didn't have time to wait. So that's how we won the battle. Hopefully that helps you out whenever you fight your own battle. Sun Tzu did it. We need better units for him, but I'm very glad he was able to pull that off. We lost 1,400. We'll take more replenishment. We killed how many? We killed all but one leader of theirs. Even the wife of Sun Tzu is able to kick a face in or two. He's like, look, my whole family can beat you up. I can easily take it. You belong to me now. Thank you. That bandit queen, I'm telling you, I want to get rid of her. She bothered me for a very long time. Okay, I have a tool maker. Oh, hello. Whenever it's fully replenished, I'll be able to have a huge garrison and more trade influence too, giving me a lot more money. And Lu Bu, you know where he's going. Li Ru will also move in one more turn. Let's end our turn now. I really need to avoid fighting Gong Sun San. Oh, I'm considered to be untrustworthy. Ah, right, that wasn't my fault. I blame them, all of them. I could give you a bit of money. I'll give you like, maybe 1,000. The entire idea here is to make him like me more. And I'll give you some food. Not that much food, I'll give you like five food. There we go. Okay, we're at plus 15, it's really not that great. But maybe he'll leave me alone. It's a little bit better now. War with our friends. Well, maybe you should get better friends. Yeah, my coalition is not really that great. Their coalition is quite large. I'm considered to be the oppressor. Yuan Tan, you have no alliance at all. Oh, well. We can end our turn now. It's probably about time for that. Yeah. Then, Sun Tzu and my other army will move out to go fight. Lu Bu will get ready to fight other enemies out here. Let's do it. I'm going to keep my gold up. This will benefit you greatly. What now? You would like to join my coalition? If you wish it. Yeah, I wish you would, actually. We could use the extra help. But it's all good, provided I don't attack you and you don't attack me. I hope that he doesn't join them. If he joins them, I'm going to be in more trouble. I could always pull back and kill more of them. I mean, we were able to expand a little bit. If I could take those mountain ranges, I mean, that would at least give me another area that I can hold on to for a little bit of time. Gung Sun Zan is now fighting me. Well, that's really unfortunate. I worked very hard to get him to like me a little bit. It wasn't sufficient. Okay, Zheng Liao is not trustworthy. Look at that, more trade influence if he's a faction heir. I feel like he should have been, but that's okay. Here we go. In the name of China. Okay, I can't auto-resolve that. I can't delegate it. I'm going to lose way too many. Because I need to go fight Zhang Yan. I'm losing more money now. Taxes will go back up. You'll come over here. I wonder if I could get a peace treaty with South South. I gave up a little bit of land. He probably wants a lot for it. Let me go check on it. Because right now he caught me at a really bad time when Dong Zhuo died. Which is probably why he did it. I would imagine. What poisonous lies will you spit today? Ooh, never. Okay. Never mind. Jia Long wants a peace treaty, but he's way too far. Zirong wants one, he's way too far. 
She's done for. This will be short. I can't really do much with you. No. Yeah, she's a bandit. She's a very angry bandit who's very weak now. Jung Yan is going to be my next target probably. I'm fighting pretty much everyone out here in the world. Very few people like me. Very few people like me. The Han, the Han Empire is like pretty much done for. They can't do crap. And my intimidation is way too low. That's why I have a lot of corruption. So we shall see what we can do to raise it up. Okay, back to Lu Bu. I call compliment. There's you, Wonton. We'll come right over here. All right, time to end our turn. A new turn, Liu Yan. Oh dear, he died. The sleeping dragon. Word reaches you that the great Zhuge Liang, self-styled sleeping dragon after the ridge near to his home, offers his considerable talents to Liu Bei. And we have gained a new weapon, very cool. Jing Jiang is now creative, giving him 12 more to his expertise. A war glaive. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, between our parts, I'll probably look at all of my items and see what I need to give to who. Now, Lu Bu, let's move up to the north. I wanted to move him up north. That's what we're doing now. Obey instinct. Largely because I want to go take out that darn bandit. I know he's up here waiting for me. If I lose Luo Yang, so be it, man. Let it happen, right? Just let it happen. Ooh, a new reform. I need more public order right now. Things are getting brutal for me. Here we go. Plus three to public order. I'll take it. Okay. Not perfect, but it does help a little. Minus two in Jinqing. Minus five in a few other locations. Faction. Yep. Gotta get that intimidation up. It's way too low. Way too low, man. Okay, Ba. Do you make money? You do not make money, but you can give me a lot of food, so do that for me. If it's saving you up for that. I could sell my food, but I'm worried about what's going to happen in my war. I really don't know how it's going to play out yet. I've got way too many enemies to really know. Okay, none of you really want a peace treaty. You want time if you want to be able to move into my lands. Greetings. I'll let you do that. Your terms are accepted. Even though you've been too weird. If you want to be friendly, be friendly. If you don't want to be friendly, whatever. Oh, crap, the one person I, I can trade with that doesn't like me. I like how he, he's like, hey, can I become your vassal again? Like, dude, you absolutely adore me. Just do it. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not going to give you land or money. I've tried too many times now. I'm pretty much done with him. All right, so we've got one more turn. Then we can come over here and uh, have a little bit of their walls broken down. If I don't do that, mm, nope. It would cost me way too much, really. Okay, Jing Mi. Go over to the land of South South. We need to find out what he's doing. Go on. My court is looking fine. People are largely happy here. Yeah, they're largely happy here. They're okay. Not everyone's like completely fine, but... Let's go look at my family tree real quick. I still need to get you married somehow, somewhere. I could try like another court, but you two have had no children. I wonder how high the chances to like have children, but we'll see. I've got plenty of heirs. Yeah, I can't marry you off, Dongmin. You haven't been married either. I mean, we could go talk to friendly factions, I suppose. Let's go do that real quick. Welcome, friend. Trade and marriage, nothing. Okay, let's go over here to Yuan Yao. The two Yuans work with me, kind of. Nope, none of them are for it. Boo, what about down here in Liu Yan? Oh, wow, you're much further than I thought. Yeah, she is very far, very, very, very far. What is the agenda? No, we can't do much. Okay. Han Empire. There's not too much I can do with you either. Imperial Administrator. That's a pretty crappy job. You've got so much money though. I wonder if I could get some money from you. If I gave you some food. 
Oh, you've got food. Never mind. What if I gave you like some stuff, some neat stuff, like a stone axe or a water clock? I feel like they should fund me a little bit. They're choosing not to, and that angers me so much. Oh well. My faction council. Yeah, give me some new missions, man. Defeat armies and take captives two times from any faction. It's all stuff I'll try to do as we go on. I mean, clearly some of it's going to be too much. We aborted two of them. Okay, so we get new missions each time. Gotcha. All right, Lubu's moving up. I believe it's now time for me to end my turn. This campaign is so very difficult. It has not been easy. Not at all. I wish it has been. At least a little bit easy, but no. She wants a peace treaty. I totally get that. She's like, no armies at all right now. No food, no money. I want to go after the other bandit. I know he's coming down here to bother me. Oh, hello. Found him. I found him directly, too. Is he wrong? He's not fighting another faction. Ooh. You're fighting Yuantan. Good. A steed to rival the ages. I keep getting new loot. A white stallion. There's no red hair, but cool enough. I wonder if you lose the loot of Dong Zhuo. I have no idea. Okay, Lu Bu. Let's go fight this guy. We're looking at one army. Time for one more battle today. Let's go fight Zhang Yan. 54 years old. You're rank 3. And you're rank 2. Here's another very big battle. I have a very simple formation. My goal is to use shock and awe. We'll all be charging in. My horsemen will be moving here on the right flank to loop around them. Lu Bu will be going after Zhang Yin. He's right over here. That very powerful bandit at rank 6. But he will be fighting Lu Bu. Zhang Yin was born Zhu Yan and was a leader of the Black Mountain Bandits. In 185, him and Zhang Niu Zhu, another bandit leader, raided the town of Yingtao. Zhang was mortally wounded, but he ordered his men to follow Zhu Yan. Chu Yan changed his name from Chu to Zhang to honor him. His army grew and grew and grew. None in the court of the Han could stop him. In 193, he fought to a stalemate against Lu Bu, who was at that time serving under Yuan Shao. In 199, Zhang Yin would try to help out Gongsu Zhang, but he would arrive way too late. Yuan Shao would defeat him. Later, in 204, Zhong Yan made contact with Cao Cao, and Cao Cao recruited him. He surrendered to the court after Cao Cao beat the Yuan family, and really there's not too much known about him after that. We continue to try to chase him down. Sure, I have few bows, but that's okay. They don't know what to do. They have a very hard time trying to stop Lu Bu, as we all do. Lu Bu is now the Duke, Duke Bu, Duke Lu Bu. One day he'll be king. Zhang Yan would be a great person to have on my side, but there's just no time to have him here. I will be killing him. Yeah, as you can see here, a very long line. We all charged in. We don't usually do that. Usually I try to do some fancy stuff and I try to flank, but I wanted to at least get a few units of my left flank behind them to flank them. Already, they're beginning to break. They don't know what they're doing or how to really do it. My horsemen are still moving in from behind. If you look at it right now, those crossbows are already beginning to waver. And Lu Bu is still hunting down the bandit leader. It's a crazy time period, man. All the people fighting, all the different factions, all the people who have power, who don't have power. My left group, that was meant to be the flanking group, is lining up. They're getting either ready to attack or they are attacking now chasing after more enemies and here comes a great charge with all of my horsemen hitting in from behind devastating very devastating so the battle's nearly over now I have a huge line of soldiers if they flee through my soldiers they end up losing you can see that very few are left there's a pretty big battle happening over here everyone is trying to go after Jung Yin Tough guy. He's a very tough guy. 
He's like, screw that guy in particular. One step closer to victory. Here we go now. In time, they'll end up taking him down. To battle. Everyone else is breaking. Charge. So, it's time to begin routing and chasing down those who remain. Or those who flee, for that matter. The enemy general is He's finally down. So what I end up doing as they all flee, I begin to just chase them all down. They had how many men? Nearly 4,000. She's about to go down too. Do not She's like, relent. you know what? I have a fan. It's hot in here. And uh, I want to keep myself cool. Fight. She's down. The enemy unit flees. The battle's over now. Ubu's won it. Okay, everyone, let's move on now. Victory we beat that bandit. He lost over 3,000 men. Not bad. 10 more intimidation from me. We'll gain 8% more replenishment to Allies replenish our numbers. Strong, and, you will survive. and now we're going to pull I'm back. Not today. Oh, you're not dead. Well, good for you. Though I did kill your two officers. Let's go back for now. What occurred in my okay, let's have a look around. I've got a few things I need to address right now, as I need more money. If I pick you up, my industry income will go up by 100, right? No, 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 no. We're not only looking at 100, plus 5 to prestige as well. Yeah, I can take that. I like artisans, evidently. That's a shame. My population is pretty high. Yeah, we could use an upgrade. But I would need more money, too. It might take a bit to get there. Okay. You two are still waiting. We could just beat them now and move on. But it might take a few turns to replenish. Lubu would be able to take care of them, but we still have other enemies to worry about. I would very much like to get rid of her. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it right now. I'm not here to wait any longer. I really don't Order want to. Has been restored. Time for me to occupy. A fine settlement. We'll take it. I've got some money. I could use it to repair these locations. And here we go. To action. Only one location left. And she's done with. A quick wit the we have fought so many battles in one part. It's been pretty wild. This location suits our plans. Okay, I get to repair all of your lands too. Check it out. My income shot up. Commandery secured. Jing Chao and Maching are not friends. One day I'll replace one of you or two of you. Lufan and Sun Tzu are not getting along. Lufan and Dong Li are getting along. And Zhang Yan does not like me. Good. I've gained a Warblade, giving me plus 15 to expertise and a White Stallion. Really, really good. Okay. Her faction is done for. She has like one little army and that's really it. Let's go look at Diplomacy. She wants a peace treaty. I don't know how she's not done for, but you know, hi. Not you again. We can't really do too much, can we? Do you have money? You do have money. Okay, well, I want you to give me money, a lot of money, actually. Make it work. That'll work, yeah. We approve. Later. Okay, I only need to take on Zhang Yan. When I beat him, it's over for them. Yuan Tan likes me, Yuan Yao likes me, Liu Biao doesn't like me very much. Oh, you don't look like me either, that's a shame. What happened? I thought we were getting on. Jia Long wants to be shreedy. Nah. Liu Bei is very powerful. I don't want to fight him. He wants me to pay him, but we'll get a non-aggression pact. I should think about it. He barely likes me. I'm currently fighting his friends, sure. Man, a trade treaty would give me so much money, you this old shoot. You want Shang Yang. Right there? Uh-huh. I don't want to do that. Money won't do it. Nope. It's not good enough for him. Alright, fine. Well, she should die off very soon. My goal is to now get rid of more lands of Zhang Yang. I could leave him alone, but I don't know... And Gong Suzan might come by. So we'll take what we can. If we lose anything to Sao Tsao, I'll come back down later. Lu Bu has a lot of killing to do. We have one army by Gong Suzan right over here. 
All right, everyone, I'm going to call it here. Leave a like, comment down below, and look forward to more later. And let me know what you think I should do. You can all play the role of my council, the council of Lu Bu, the Grand Master, who in time will become King Boo, King Lu Bu. All right, anyway, until then.